वेलकम बैक गाइज दिस इज बिलाल खान एंड यू आर वॉचिंग सिंप्लीफाइड कोडिंग आई गेव यू द एंट्रो इन द लास्ट वीडियो नाउ लेट्स गेट आवर हैंड्स टर्टी इन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ वी कैन बिल्ड आवर टिक टैक टो बोर्ड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट विथ एन एम टी एक्टिविटी देन हेयर वी विल पुट आवर एप्लीकेशन नेम विच इज टिक टैक टो and then you need to select kotlin as the language and then make sure you are selecting this option which is use android x artifacts then we will click on finish once the project is loaded we will come inside app level build dot gradle file and here i will put the new material design dependency because i want to use the new one and i don't want to use the old one so we are going to use this new material design so we need to sync our project and then after syncing i will go to values and styles.xml and here instead of this app compact i will use the new material components so the theme is changed now i have decided some colors for my application so i will use these colors so these are the color that i am going to use uh, we have added this color which is the color background now you can play with the design as much as you want so the colors are ready now we need some icons this is the application name this is the circle and the cross for our tic tac toe board and it is the application icon so i will copy everything and i will paste it inside my drawable folder now you can get all these files from the source code the link to the source code is given in the description of this video so i will paste everything inside the tribal folder and this is the application icon which is ic tic tac toe so let's change the application icon as well and here instead of the smith map we will use tribal ic tic tac toe and i will use the same for the round icon now we will go to layout activity underscore main dot xml and here we will design our layout so let me do it very quickly so our layout is ready first we have the image view and it is just displaying our application name which is tic tac toe then we have a text view to display who won whether the computer or the player then we have a grid layout and it is very important because inside this grid layout we are going to display our tic tac toe board and you can see the grid layout has row is 3 and column is 3 using row count and column count property so this is very important because a tic tac toe board has a 3 by 3 matrix so that is why row is 3 and column is 3 then we have the id as well for this grid layout and then we have a button to restart our game so the layout is pretty simple and if you are having any trouble you can get the source code the link is given in the description of this video now we will generate our tic tac toe board and to do this we will come inside main activity dot kt and here i will define a function private one load board and inside this function we will load our tic tac toe board for our board we will use a 2d array of image views because we need to display this circle and cross icon when a cell is clicked so come back to main activity and here first we will define a private val board cells equals to and we will define an array of size 3 and it is an array of nulls and this is how we define 2d array in kotlin so it is an array of nulls of size 3 and the type would be image view so we have a 2d array of image view now first we will loop through all the image views to initialize the image views because all the image views that this 2d array has are null so we need to initialize all the image views and to do this we can run a double loop so what i will do is i will run a loop for i n board cells 
dot indices and then I will run a second loop for JN board cell dot indices and then for every index of this board cell I will initialize an image view and to do this we can write board cells I J equals to image view and we need to pass the context so we can pass this here because we are inside an activity class after initializing the image view we will set some layout parameters to the image view and to do this we will write both cells ij dot layout params and we need to put here a null safety operator and then it is equals to grid layout dot layout params and then we will apply some changes and the first and the very important thing is we need to define the row and the column for this image view so we will define row spec equals to grid layout dot spec and we will put i and the same way we will define the column spec and this time j so we have defined the i and the j for the grid index for our image view then we will define the width and the height for our image view which is let's say 250 and the height is 230 and then we will define some margins so we have bottom margin we have top margin and we have left and right margin then we need to define the background color for our image views so we will define it as board cells ij which is the index and then set background color and for the color we will use the function get color and we will get the color from our colors.xml file and to do this we need to pass the id of the color so we need to use r dot color dot color primary so this is the color that we are going to use for the background of our image views and the image views are the cells of our tic-tac-toe board and this function is not working so we need to use this one and it is inside context compact so context compact get color then context and the color id so everything is fine now finally we will add this image view inside our grid layout and the id of the grid layout is layout board and we can do it very easily layout board dot add view and we will add board cells i j uh, we need to do it here inside the inner loop now we just need to call this function to load our board so it is very easy we just used a 2d array of image views and then we initialized all the image views we set some parameters we set the background color and we added the image view inside our grid layout so let's try running this application to see if it is working or not so guys you can see we have a nice tic-tac-toe board and i think i should remove this action bar and to do this go inside your styles.xml and here write no action bar and let's run it again so we have our nice tic-tac-toe board and it is not working because we just created the board and we did not add the functionality yet so that's all for this video friends if you like my content then show the love by hitting on the like button and if you want to help me then please share this video in your groups you can also follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and you can message me anywhere if you have any query all the links are given in the description of this video so thank you guys this is Bilal Khan now signing off.